How's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. I show you Trevon last week or two weeks ago and finally I got Mike and Franklin uh, today. So yeah, finally we got the three figures from CC Toys, the GTA 5 figures. This Trevon we already saw, you can back and check that review. Today we got here Mike and Frank, the Los Santo version. The art box are all pretty the same, just with a mug shot of the figures in the front. The back is only the same warning and notices. I know you don't care about that. Inside, you will see that our figures are basically with the same accessories, same ones that came with Trevor, but we are going to take a quick look. You got in both figures two pistols that you can choose which one to use with yours. You got this C4 sticky bomb, a baseball bat, same as Trevor as well, a bunch of cash that you can use for posing, a whiskey bottle and this huge bag that they use for the bank iced. Five extra ends of course, Frank ones are a bit darker than the ones from Mike and it's accurate and then a second layer with just few differences. Mike comes with a rifle but different color than the one from Trevor. The Trevor one was uh, yellow and black, this one is all pure black and then a shotgun. While Frank will come with just two shotguns, both uh, the same color. You got as well this bank rover mask, both of the figures come with this, and Frank comes with this baseball uh, jacket that looks very good with this kind of peach material. The sleeves are made of a kind of pleather, but I really like the color that they did on this, and uh, the stickers, they look really, really good. And both come with the same ugly black display base that really needs some stickers. Checking here our Franklin head sculpt, which I think it's not the same as the prototype, but I still see Franklin from GTA 5. The paint application is very soft, but it's still okay. I don't have big complaints about it. As for Franklin outfit, it's pretty basic. You got inside like um, a sweater, a white sweater. In the outside, you got this blue shirt. Then you got these black jeans. I, I do like the coloration here in these black jeans. And then you got these uh, normal boots. The boots are a bit difficult to articulate. They are very tough, but I do like these black jeans. I like the coloring going around here with that stripes on the sides. I think they look pretty cool. But the outfit looks good. The articulation. It's the same body as Trevor. Uh, the articulation is good. You will not have problems with anything here. The head, the arms, elbows, the torso also have a good articulation. And then on the legs you got the usual double jointed knees, the boots are a bit difficult to articulate, but overall I think it looks quite okay. As for Mike, he comes in this uh, suit and I think it's the head sculpt from the three that looks better. Maybe it's the easier one, although I think they miss a bit on the beard, it should be a bit more black. It's very, very soft. I think the problem with CC Toys is the paint application is too soft. You can see the wrinkles over there near the eyes. The hair is well done too. I don't have a problem with the sculpt. It's more the paint application a bit too soft. As for his outfit, he comes with a straight suit with his grey suit, then with a belt, with a white shirt inside. Is the most um, basic suit of the three, the outfit. The jacket seems a bit short, I need to check about that later because I really don't like to have those wrist joints exposed. Then a very normal pants and then you got these black shining uh, shoes. I think the pants look a bit too baggy, I would prefer a bit tighter fit, but it's okay. The tailoring of the suit looks good, the jacket, the tailoring looks okay, nothing special, just a normal 1-6 scale uh, suit. The articulation I'm not going to check is exactly the same as Trevor and Franklin. Here we have Mike from GTA 5 and of course Franklin. And with these two now, we already got the trio together. And I think they look great, even with a very soft paint application, they still look really good in your display if you are, let's say, a very hard fan of GTA 5. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.